We just talked to Dan Smith from Vail Mountain Rescue about their recent missions, but we also want to let you know how you can help them fundraise for these missions and keep this organization going. We have a, a couple of their team members and friends of Vail Mountain Rescue. Ed is here, Ted is here, and you got your Tristan companion. Halo. Halo, good to see you. Oh, yeah, she's alert. Oh, she's all ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, gentlemen, this is what's kind of I mean, a misconception about Bell Mountain Rescue, and Dan and I talked about this before, is there's no cost for their services. And you guys are just on a big, huge mission. 16 people were out there. You guys are volunteers. So it's just amazing what goes into maybe one single mission and the costs involved. Mm -hmm. That's right. This was uh, this what, the, about the 25th uh, mission this year. There'll probably be a hundred, you know, all together. And many are like this and require a lot of people to go out. Uh, some a few people, in this case a dozen. And so they, it was Easter Sunday, right? Mm -hmm. And people left, you know, their families and whether well, they're going to go out and ski or whatever they're going to do, they off from their work and uh, went on this mission. Um, and a lot of people in the community are coming together and saying, well, why do these people also have to raise money for all this equipment, you know, sixty to $100,000 a year? And can't we do something uh, to take that off of their backs so they can focus on missions like this? Um, they're already sacrificing a lot of time from their families and jobs and so forth, and they have a lot of training. Yes, we do. And uh, Ted uh, can tell you about the recertification. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, Ted, about every five years, you have to undergo a recertification process, right? That's right. We have to demonstrate to other teams around the state, because often we're called to respond for other teams as well, that we have the skills required to do what we say we do. So it's, uh, we have to demonstrate proficiency in uh, high angle and low angle, technical rope rescue, avalanche, uh, low angle and high angle and search as well for missing people in the wilderness. Yeah, and you work with a lot of equipment, sometimes you even get to work with these big pieces of machinery the, that fly around. The great <laughs> men and women at HATS are often able to take us into uh, places like uh, this area, that's another HATS helicopter. Last year this time we responded to a mission in Pitkin Creek um, and they were able to get us into the, the victim and out of there within 45 minutes, which is awesome. Yeah. Well, and the fact that the dogs are part of it too, and that takes time. And they cross train training. just like us. Yeah, <laughs> this guy's supposed to do avalanche search uh, for live and uh, deceased as well. Okay. And so to have all of this up to snuff and everything, all your accreditations met, it does take time, does take that money. So yeah, doing the big sales and some car washes on top of all this is that's, not quite that's what's exactly in the cards. right. Yeah, I think as I understand, they spend about as much time training as they do on missions mm -hmm. a year. So it's a lot. All right. Wow. Well, then tell us about the friends, and you have some upcoming summer activities that's right. and fundraising that's right. activities. What we really like to do is raise enough money so that fundraising can end, and yes. this group won't have to continue to do that, and we won't have to continue to go to the community. So our goal is about $2 million for an endowment fund. We're about approaching 900000 mm -hmm. And we have a number of different activities. One this summer is a, uh, at the Vail Summer Market. We have a booth every Sunday. And we can always use volunteers. Oh, good, yes. And uh, we're also going to have a uh, major fundraising party, I guess, at Red Sky this summer for the community. Oh, wow. And uh, there will be dancing and food and an auction and so forth. And we hope to raise uh, good funds there. So anyone who's interested in participating in either of those, just go to uh, VailMountainRescue.org and uh, find the email for friends at VailMountainRescue.org Vail okay. and let us know that you're interested in either. Oh yeah, and the community sure. has really stepped up to help you raise this mound already, but you know, yeah. we still have a little ways to go. But gentlemen, thanks so much for coming in. Thanks for what you do as well because once again, it starts out like a nice sunny day and you never know what can happen in the backcountry. So hopefully you don't need their services, but it's nice to know that they are there. Once again, you can go to VailMountainRescue.org and then look for the Friends tab and find out more about fundraising opportunities this summer and how you can contribute right now. Right now, we're gonna also check in with Mark Sassy because he has our weather.